r slash nice guy stories by redmond dts my ex-boyfriend broke into my house me 19 female recently broke up with my boyfriend 35 male i'll call d we only dated for one month so i didn't expect it to be so dramatic when i ended things but he ended up breaking into my house d was extremely kind at the very start letting me bring my brother to hang out with us and whatnot. It slowly got to the point where he was expecting me to be available anytime he wanted, day or night, and he had a whole fit in a time I said no or took too long to answer. Too long being over one minute sometimes. D would start repetitively calling me. I blocked him on almost everything. He didn't get any better, there was a lot of emotional abuse as well, but I don't know if I should get into that. He cared very much about 6, I on the other hand am not the biggest fan, so the being constantly spammed day and night, and even at work, D then added on being very sexual, even when I have said no several times, and pulled away, and pulled his hands off my body, he'd continue to try. Some night he came to my home for what I thought would be wholesome date nights, but he'd constantly push for more one time till 7 in the morning. That's when I realized we are over, I no longer feel safe, so I felt I had to end things. I told him as much. I don't think he took me seriously, he kept calling himself my boyfriend and saying I'm his girlfriend. I had a very busy day yesterday and he wanted to talk to me. I told him we could talk the next day cause I was very tired and my mom had told me to sleep saying I didn't look well. I was willing and ready to hear what he had to say, but just not at that very second. He told me he was outside my house after I said, do not come over at least three times. I said to leave and I fell asleep, he then texted me I'm coming in, but I was asleep, so I didn't notice. And a couple minutes later I woke up to a hand on my back and my shoulders being shook. I said I was trying to sleep, thinking it was my brother. Then he started hugging me, and I was just shocked he broke into my home. My brothers and father are able to help me now, they all know who he is, so he shouldn't be doing it again but it still freaked me out. If I miss any comments or anything, I'm sorry, I hardly understand this app, but I'm doing my best to reply. I think I accidentally deleted someone's comment when I was trying to respond, I'm sorry to whoever that was. And I'm surprised everyone is being so kind and helpful at my situation. Thank you it's really helping a lot. For everyone in the comments who said something to the extent of taking safety measures. I told my parents about it and they are changing the locks and keys to all the household doors. He really dropped the being nice to women, doesn't work to get with them. So I met this guy at a Halloween party. I was super drunk, and we made out. One of my friends got weird vibes from him, but everyone else loved him, since he was so sweet to me, getting me water, something to eat, keeping an eye on me. I didn't remember much about the night, but I trusted their judgement, and went on two dates with him. He was nice, and we shared a lot of interests. Looking back he may have echoed back what I was passionate about to me. He seemed kind of smitten, always telling me how funny I am, and that I'm amazing. I did like him, but he just wasn't my type sober, there was no spark, so I told him, but said that, if he's okay with that by any chance, I would love to be friends. He agreed and said he couldn't be emotionally vulnerable with anyone anyway, which surprised me, because he shared a lot of insecurities unprompted on our second date. He said we should probably not hang out alone though but rather in groups, fine by me. But then he asked me to hang out and get a coffee and I agreed, as friends of course. I was enthusiastic about it, but he seemed kinda cold while texting. When we were hanging out, he kept mentioning how he just wanted to hang out because I'm his break from studying. And he also kept making fun of my driving anxiety when I mentioned it, but really over the top, and not in a funny way, it just felt mean. That whole behavior made me feel so dumb for being enthusiastic about seeing him, and the cold texts continued after that. When he wanted to hang out again I kinda mirrored his cold, negative tone and he ghosted me after that. 
He commented under my insta post a while later, and I liked his comment, wasn't one one could really reply much to, and then I saw him at the mall with his friends, and gave him a friendly wave, he smiled back. Literally a day later he deleted and blocked me on most socials. I was so confused, but I didn't want to disrespect his boundaries, so I sent him a text, saying how he doesn't have to reply, of course since he blocked me elsewhere, but if he's comfortable I'd like to know what happened. First he said he felt the friendship was one-sided, and that he doesn't like getting coffee when being friends with women. Then why did he ask me to get coffee? But rather takes night walks and cuddles. I told him hey why felt about the friendship being one-sided, and that cuddling is just too intimate for me, for just a platonic male friend. He sent me a long wall of text where he was very passive aggressive towards me, saying he wasn't thinking about cuddling with me anyway, and how it's silly that he rants like this to me of all people. He said he noticed, being nice doesn't work to get with women anyway, since he's just reduced to his looks. So now he jumps at any opportunity, and reduces himself to his looks, and it's so shitty, to see how that works on dating apps etc. All that frustrated nice guy monologue. Freaking weird. I really thought he was a genuinely nice guy, but god was I wrong. Glad he showed his true colors now rather than later. An old co-worker, that I got along well with, decided to randomly message me. So I was happy to hear from him. So we've been texting for a couple days. But he had to ruin it. He's single, and has been having trouble in the dating world. He can't seem to find the right women. He mentions how he's the nice guy, and, I'll let out a whole sigh, because like why? I tell him he shouldn't use that term, as it gives women the eek. And gave him the why it's bad, because nice guys generally are nice, because they want sex, and a genuine nice guy doesn't have to say those words. He instead decided to go off on me, and tell me how stupid, ugly, and wrong I am, that he just had sex, so why would he want sex from me? I'm still confused where that came from, but okay. And that if a woman doesn't like that term, she's not worth his time. I said okay, stop talking to him. So he's definitely the nice guy. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more. Have a nice evening. Tell your friends about me.